Hello everybody and welcome to Multilingual Family. Today's topic is how to speak a language accent free. After watching this video, you will understand exactly how age affects an accent. Let me start with a little story. Some years ago, I had to smile when I went into a shop and at the counter, the woman asked me where I came from, where in Fraunfeld I came from. And I felt flattered and proud at the same time because at that moment I realized that the woman had no idea that I actually grew up on the other side of the globe, speaking Spanish as the first language. That meant that I spoke Swiss German as a native speaker. Well, I was confronted with Swiss German and Spanish since I was in the womb. Now, when you listen to my, me speaking English, you can tell that I have a foreign accent. Well, I started learn, learning English at the age of 10. So, how is that? Why is it that I don't have an accent in the one language, but I do have an accent in other languages. Well, that has to do with the age. So today it's all about the accent. How does age affect the accents? And when is the best time for the brain to absorb sounds? Most people when speaking a foreign language have a foreign accent, even if they speak fluently. This happens when they learn an additional language when their childhood has passed. Obviously, there are exceptions to the rule. There are people that are very talented and that manage to speak accent-free even if they started learning a foreign language as grown-ups. But that this is really the absolute exception. You're probably asking yourself what is needed in that case to speak more languages accent-free. Well, Immersion or extensive exposure to a language starting at a young age and for a long time. Let me explain you what this means. So scientists talk about so-called windows of opportunity. They agree that there are basically three periods. When it comes to absorbing an accent, the first nine months are extremely important. From the time the baby's in the womb until they turn nine months. At this age, the potential to absorb different sounds is mind-blowing. Babies that are exposed to different languages during this period have a high chance of speaking those languages accent-free, if they keep developing them, that is. So, the first period is from zero to three. But when it comes to an accent, the first nine months are even more important. After this period, that plasticity, that window closes and their brains are not that receptive anymore to sounds. It's still a very important time to learn languages from zero to three. The second period goes from Four till seven. Four until seven. And during this time, kids learn still automatically, implicitly. They don't feel embarrassed when they make mistakes, and that's a huge advantage, which will not be be an advantage anymore once they get older. And the third window of opportunity starts from eight till they are grown up, eight plus. During this time, learning languages do not have any, do not bring any advantage. That means that People that learn languages, foreign languages as grown-ups or at the age of eight, 
learn it basically the same way. They have to learn explicitly. They have to learn words, have to study the language. And it, it doesn't happen the same way as when the child is younger. So to sum up, when it comes to an accent, speaking like a native speaker, you either have to be very, very talented and then you might be able to, to um, reproduce a language sound like a native speaker, even if you started learning the language at the age of eight or later. And otherwise, the best time to be exposed to languages so that a person has a high probability to speak like a native speaker is definitely during the first nine months of life or also during this period. So before the child goes to school. So there you go. Give me a comment, give me a like, and see you next time. This is Multilingual Family. Thank you for watching.